Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Cool Eagle, back here with another video, man. I just had to come talk to you guys, man, while I was on break uh, from this job that's been tiring me out. And, and the reason why I, I have not been able to post the good content that y'all are used to seeing from me. But I had to find solace and talk to you guys because although I am very confident going into this game against the 49ers, namely because... The Philadelphia Eagles are really good in games that we should win. And the fact that Jim Swartz, it's a fun fact for you guys, that Jim Swartz is 5-1 against Kyle Shanahan all time. Now, th now I'm not saying that we should be using these metrics as a justifiable, like, a, justifiable, yeah, a justifiable reason to why we should be confident going into this game. But this is one of the bright spots that we could use. Something that we just don't have right now because now we're coming to the conclusion that Howie Roseman is a failure as a GM. Yes, I said it. Howie Roseman is a failure as a GM. Now, mind you, I am not absolving Carson Wentz of his poor play. I am not absolving Doug Peterson of his lack of play creativity to help Carson Wentz in this, in this offense to look less lifeless. But I will address the fact that Howie Roseman has not done a good job at putting elite talent around Carson uh, Carson Wentz. Like, do you realize Carson Wentz is the only quarterback in our division who does not have, like, elite talent at wide receiver? Like, look, bro, bro, like, let's look at it. Danny Dimes has Darius Slayton who is said to be really good, and he was really good last year, like one of the best wide receivers in the NFL as a rookie, okay? Golden Tate, okay? And he still has Evan Ingram, okay? Uh, the Redskins, they got Scary Terry, 1,000-yard receiver, very good rookie, Steven Sims. And then you got the Cowboys, who have... Three potential 1,000-yard wide receivers. But you expect Carson Wentz to make something out of nothing two years in a row with high expectations. Now, it would be different if, if, if this was 2019 again where there were no expectations. People were saying that we weren't going to win a division. But this year, you have a... Like, you're expected. CBS is writing articles about why you should win the Super Bowl, but yet you don't have elite talent that is required to win a Super Bowl. And, and look, I dare you to go back in history and tell me a team that won a championship without elite talent on offense. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, oh what, you want to go Tom Brady with the Patriots in 2003? That was a defensive Super Bowl. Adam Vinatieri won two of those first three Super Bowls. Like, let's be real. It wasn't Tom Brady. Stop it. You know? And, um, and like, it's just crazy how fans... Now, mind you, again, I am not absolving Carson Wentz of his poor play. But you got to understand, dude. Man, like, how can you expect to go against these elite teams with no elite talent on offense? You have three of your starting wide receivers again, again, for the second year in a row, gone and on injury report. You got Jason Peters, your left tackle, who just finessed the fuck out of the Philadelphia Eagles for some money and is on IR, even though a lot of us expected him to not play a full season. But God damn, man, I expect at least get like five games out of him first. But damn, man, his ass is on like IR for a toe injury. When, when he initially got injured, it wasn't a toe. So how did you go from some strain? Now all of a sudden, you're like you're on IR with a toe injury. I don't get it. But now we're going into this game where I'm still very confident, by the way, that Carson Wentz like can't get it done. But the fact that it is, if you like, if he somehow does not get it done, he's. Like, he's supposed to be, like, just be getting benched for a rookie who's not going to do any better. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I really don't get it, man. And, 
And I just don't understand how we can just sit here and allow Howie to just still, uh, like, just go on like this. Being cheap. Like, trying to find cheap ways to win a Super Bowl. You can't do that when you have high expectations. It's different when nobody expects you to do shit. You know what I'm saying? And you somehow be able to win. But when you have high expectations going into the year, CBS is literally writing articles about why the Eagles should win a Super Bowl this year. But yet you have no talent. It's not, uh, man. Uh, man, man, honestly, man, and I just feel so bad for my quarterback, man, that he has to suffer through a fan base who doesn't have the same logic. A GM who who continuously finds cheap ways to try to win a Super Bowl and in a piss poor division has gotten away with that too. Like, let's be real, he's gotten away with being cheap, like for a very long time, and it's finally caught up to him. And now it's affecting Carson Wentz. It's affecting the team. And and it's probably, man, and, and right now I'm just praying COVID just, like, just ends this whole season so we don't have to suffer through this anymore. Because, dog, dog, man, like, now, now mind you, uh, bro, I still have faith, man, but shit, dude. Like, what are you going to do with no talent at the wide receiver position? Like your number one receiver is a running back and Zach Ertz, who has doubled every game. Like, like damn, man, like what are you gonna do?